It's been less than a year since the original Nufi Air 96 was released, and now Nufi has come out with the Air 96 V2, bringing updates and improvements to their larger, low-profile keyboard with a number pad. The first V2 in the Air series that Nufi released was the Air 75 V2, which I reviewed separately. Let's take a closer look and see if the same great experience with the Air 75 V2 now carries over into the Air 96 V2. Before we dive in, I want to mention that Nufi did send me the Air 96 V2 for the purpose of making this review. However, I was not paid to make the video, and Nufi has no input over any of my comments in the video. However, I am an affiliate with Nufi, so the link down in the description is an affiliate link. I do have a coupon code you can use as well. The code is SEMIPRO, and it gets you 10% off your purchase with Nufi. Now, one bit of detail about the original Air 96 that I want to point out is that it actually had a couple of improvements from the first two keyboards in their low profile series, and that was the Air 60 and the Air 75. The original had the folding feet, so it had these two position fold out feet already. That was sort of an innovation they baked into the first Air 96. And it also had a little bit of sound dampening, so it had a little bit more of a controlled sound than the Air 60 or Air 75. So the Air 96 V2 is more of an iterative up compared to the Air 75 V2, though the improvements here are still significant. All right, now let's review the features and specs of the Air 96 V2, then we'll do a sound test compared to the original, and we'll kind of talk through what's improved, what's about the same, and maybe what still has room for improvement. The Nufi Air 96 V2 is a 96% ANSI layout keyboard with 100 keys, and it is not currently available in an ISO layout. Construction includes an aluminum top frame and ABS bottom. Dimensions are 373.4 by 132.5 by 13.5 millimeters, and the weight is 663 grams or 1.46 pounds. Color options include gray, ionic white, and basalt black. There are two position fold-out feet for a total of three typing angles. Internal features include an IXPE switch pad, pour-on plate foam, and silicone padding under the spacebar. Connectivity includes three Bluetooth connections and upgraded 2.4 GHz now with 1000 Hz polling rate and USB-C wired. Battery capacity is 4000 mAh and Nufi estimates a use time of 220 hours with no lighting on or 35 to 57 hours with the lighting on depending on the brightness level. Keycaps are double shot PBT and are not shine through, but there are new shine through keycaps available. Switch options include Gatoron Low Profile 2.0 Red, Brown, and Blue, as well as Nufi Cowberry, Aloe, Wisteria, and Moss. Lighting includes full RGB with 40 modes and two corner LEDs. The left LED provides indicators for the connection status and caps lock, while the right LED provides a battery level indicator. The Air 96 V2 is QMK VIA compatible for custom remapping and adding macros on multiple operating systems, including Windows, Mac, and Linux. The Air 96 V2 is available from Nufi for $129.95 with Gatoron switches or $139.95 with Nufi switches. All right, now just like I did in my Air 75 V2 video, instead of talking about pros and cons here, we're gonna talk about what's improved, what's about the same, and what still has room for improvement with the Air 96 V2. All right, so first up, the improvements. First of all, the big ticket item is the QMK firmware with VIA compatibility. You can now fully customize your Air 96 on Windows, Mac, and Linux thanks to that new firmware. You no longer have to use Nufi console, which was only available on Windows and a quite clunky experience. Now, you also have improvements on the Bluetooth and the 2.4 gigahertz wireless connections in terms of their polling rates. It's a modest little spec bump on the Bluetooth side of things going from 90 hertz to 100 25 hertz, but on the 2.4 gigahertz side of things, it's going from 500 hertz up to 1000 hertz, which is a high enough polling rate for gaming use as long as you have a stable connection. More on that in just a minute. All right, now we have a few very small improvements, but they are improvements nonetheless. For example, with the keycaps that come on the Air 96 V2, you actually have a little tactile bump on the up arrow key. 
So that's very minor, but that is an improvement nonetheless because it helps you avoid hitting the wrong key. When it comes to the overall sound and the feel, I would put this in the improved category, but it is very marginal for the Air 96. And I, I mentioned this a little bit earlier that the Air 96, when it first came out, already had a little bit more sound dampening, a little bit more of a controlled sound compared to the original Air 60 and Air 75. I personally, hear a little bit less of a difference in the Air 96 original and the V2 when it comes to the sound. The feel is a little bit different, but it does depend on the switches that you get. I personally like their new Cowberry Linear switches the best. The new Moss switches are also very nice, but that sound profile will change slightly depending on which switches you go for. Another improvement would just be having more color options. You now have this nice black color option. You've also got the Ionic White, which was available in the original Air 96, but you did not have this black color with the original. So that's still uh, an improvement in terms of availability of finding a color that maybe matches your setup better. All right, let's talk about a couple of things that really aren't any different from the original Air 96. And one of those things, as I mentioned earlier, is the fold-out feet. So you still have two position fold-out feet. They're basically the same as they were on the original Air 96, which is nice. You get three typing positions in total. I personally find that in the flat typing position, I actually don't need a wrist rest. Of course, Nufi offers a wrist rest, a low profile, and there are others that you can buy, of course, on the market. If you like an incline a little bit, you know, your sort of your mileage may vary on that depending on what position you keep your arms and things. But I find that in the flat position, I actually don't even need a wrist rest and it's pretty comfortable. Another thing that's not different from the original Air 96 is the battery capacity. So the original had a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. We still have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery here. And for me, this kind of falls into the neutral space. It's not really a con. It's not really a pro as far as the battery life goes. It's pretty good. It's not novel. It's not like pushing the boundaries, right, of other keyboards on the market. Certainly, you, you know, you've got big brands out there like Logitech that have put tons of research and investment into getting their battery capacity combined with their firmware to just get insane battery life, especially if you don't use backlighting. All of that said, I'm certainly not disappointed in the battery life of the Air 96 V2. It's just, you know, it's not like, wow, it's so amazing either. And speaking of the lighting, the overall effect of the lighting is pretty much the same as the original Air 96. Same thing with the Air 75. I think the number of modes you get baked in are a little bit different from the original, but you still have your two corner side indicator lights and your full back lighting. It does not come with shine through keycaps, but you can get shine through keycaps. All right, now let's just talk about a couple things where there's a little bit of room for improvement. And I'm gonna have to nitpick a little bit here, but the first one is not nitpicking. It's something that I actually didn't experience with the Air 75 V2, but I did run into with the Air 96 V2, and that was less in terms of the stability on the 2.4 gigahertz connection at my normal positioning and distance from the keyboard. So I usually keep my dock for my MacBook about three feet away. It's almost exactly three feet away. If you were looking at the keyboard, it is often to the left. And it's also got a couple of obstructions in the way, not like anything really solid, but there are a couple of metal objects kind of in between the line of sight of the receiver and the keyboard. And with the Air 75 V2, I didn't have any trouble with a stable 2.4 gigahertz connection. However, I did have some stability issues with the Air 96 in that same position at that distance where I'd be typing and suddenly it would miss one of my key presses, but it did resolve itself when I repositioned the receiver. So I just used a USB extension cable and positioned the receiver on my desk in a nice close, clear line of sight to the keyboard, and I no longer had the issue. So if you're experiencing any spotty 2.4 gigahertz connection issues with your Air 96 V2, I would suggest trying to reposition the receiver to get it a little bit closer and with a nice clear line of sight, and you shouldn't have an issue if you do that. Other than that though, the only real room for improvement or con that I think is left here with the Air 96 V2 is that they still don't offer an ISO layout. So there's a decent chunk of the world out there that can't take advantage of the Air 96 V2 because it's not available currently in an ISO layout. None of the Nufi keyboards are, as far as I am aware. So hopefully someday Nufi will offer an ISO layout for their keyboards because I really do think they offer some of the best value keyboards on the market when it comes to how much you get for the price. Now, in terms of competition in a layout like this, that's not 100%, it's a little bit more compact than 100%. You're looking at options like 
the Keychron K17 Pro, which I will do a separate comparison video on, so we're not gonna dive all the way into that right now. It does have a little bit of separation here around the arrow keys, so the spacing is a little bit different. The layout's not exactly the same, compact 96% layout. It also has a knob up here, but we'll save the rest of my comments on this for the actual comparison video of the K17 Pro to the Air 96. But in my opinion, this is probably one of the closest competitors on the market in terms of feature set and quality around the same price point for a layout like this. So at the end of the day, Nufi has addressed the major con that I pointed out with the original Air 96, and that was Nufi console and not being able to customize it on Mac or Linux. That is addressed now with the QMK firmware. Of course, the layout is always gonna be a consideration. So if you don't love the Compact 96, if you're more of a 100% layout person and you need a little bit of spacing there, cause this is, you know, if you feel like this is gonna drive you crazy for it to be this squished together, then obviously I could see going for a different layout. But if you're okay with that more compact layout, then I definitely think you should consider the Air 96 V2 if you're looking for a low profile mechanical with a number pad because it just offers a lot of value for the price. I think it's one of the best values for the price on the market in terms of low profile keyboards with a number pad because of how good the quality actually is for a price of less than $150. So what do you think of the Air 96 V2? Let me know down in the comments. And if you got one, how are you liking it? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see that upcoming comparison video to the Keychron K17 Pro as well. Thanks everybody. See you next time.